Hello traders, um, this is Snipe Trading and I'll be going over a live footage of a trade I did on ticker MF uh, where I made 1500 in 5 minutes. So let's get started. So I'm playing the footage here and it'll be uh, real time. So here what I saw was a uh, fail and reclaim of this area of 136, um, 138 area. So um, in a moment, you'll see that I'll try to draw a flag. So here you can see I'm drawing some resistance lines at 141 you can see it topped off around here and uh, it's pulling back so what i'm looking for is a higher low um, to form where it can break out this flag line So here's the pullback and it's testing the five minute EMA, five minute nine EMA, uh, where this is the red line here, in my chart. Uh, on the level two, you can see 136 is holding as support here. So once this starts to curl and consolidate, this is where I find that 136 is the next higher low. I'm not going in quite yet, waiting to see if it confirms higher low here on 136. You can see there's a little bounce there. Um, I start, I started 5,000 shares. From the level two, you saw a little bounce. So I went ahead and added a little bit more. And you can see I'm a little cautious. So if the ad doesn't work immediately, I will scale down. So I have 10,000 shares. And you can see I scaled down back to 5,000 shares. Um, my hand's on the trigger for a sell if 136 break. So you can see here, um, risking about $250, $300 on this trade if it doesn't work out. So if this happens to just fail the 136 support, then that would stop me out for around $250 to $300 loss. But once, once this 136 confirms, in a moment you'll see that I start to add in the anticipation of the 141 break. So you can see there, um, at the level two, 136 is bouncing again. So it's confirming support. And then here's the flag line break that I'm looking for. So in a moment, you see my hands on the trigger, buying the ass, adding an additional 5,000 shares. So there I'm up 10,000 shares. So 141 is the, the actual trigger here. And you can see the 140 ass is thinning out. So I had another 5,000 shares. So I'm up 15,000 shares. And in a moment, you will see a, um, a minute of consolidation around this 141 area. And that's where I'll add another 5,000 shares. So here it looks, it looks like another flag would be forming, right? So a higher low would be ideal here. Um, but I'm always cautious of, you know, selling some here and de-risking if it doesn't move immediately. So 
So I have my hands on the trigger of, you know, buy and ask if 141 breaks, this is the resistance that I'm looking for. I'll add additional shares. So you can see here, jumping around between my buy and sell buttons. All right. So when this 141 starts to thin out, I'm going to go add um, additional 5,000 shares, making a total of 20,000 shares. So you can see here that the bid is stacking up. That ask being thin, so I bought another up to 20,000 shares. You can see a breakout happening, breaking high of days, 144. I sold a, a bit there on those highs. So I sold pretty much a third there. And here, I'm going to try to get some more sales on 148. Up a thousand dollars. And now here the breakouts working and I'm very trigger, um, sell happy. So I'm really satisfied with the trade. So I'm going to take more up, take more profit up here. So I'm down to 6,000 shares, um, up 1400 so far. And I'm expecting a pullback, um, to this 145 area. But this is a pretty generous move. I'm risking five cents and it's gone 10 cents. So if you're holding it all the way, that's a two R two R um, trade so far from your risk of 136. So I'm just holding um, a quarter of my position here, um, trying to trail a bigger move. You can see I have a um, thousand shares to unload here. So I threw a thousand shares there at 151s. And I'm getting ready to sell more of my shares here. So another thousand shares here at 154. So up 1500 on this ticker. All right, then I'm trying to sell at 158 here. That gets filled at 158. down to 1500 shares. So it feels like the top is starting to happen here. So it downsized to just a thousand shares and I'm getting ready to get rid of it. Yep. And I'm all out there. Um, realizing a thousand five hundred thirty eight dollars on the name um, in less than five minutes so in a moment here um, you'll see that it pulls back I'll just fast forward this this a little bit speed it up so it went to a high of 160 and you can see that it starts to pull back to 144, 145 area there, um, where that last high of day was. Um, the ticker did end up consolidating and going higher to the highs of 190s um, after this, um, but I'm really happy for the trade. Um, if this set up another kind of flag breakout, that would be another opportunity. Um, but usually I like to sell on the first initial move 
if it sets up again and resets, then I would play another entry around this area, which it did happen, but I didn't, I wasn't watching it. So if you enjoy um, this footage and would like to see more of it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and follow my Twitter to support the channel. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.